Hey Blockchain Visionaries, I'm George Levy. In today's video, I want to talk to you about censorship, decentralization, and the pursuit of truth in the age of COVID-19. This is going to be a different video from the ones that I usually post because I'm not going to be focusing specifically on, on Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, but I am going to be talking about blockchain in a different context, particularly because blockchain can deliver a single source of truth. So what I want to talk about is in this coronavirus pandemic, the definition of what is truth is very fluid. And I'm having a lot of problems with it because a lot of the stuff that I've been sharing has actually been getting censored. Now, having been posting for some time on videos and actually having a YouTube channel, posting on Facebook, posting on Twitter, I am no stranger to actually having my contest banned. In fact, my contents have actually been banned specifically when the cryptocurrency craze was going on in 2017 and uh, the ICOs were on fire. Well, anything that had to do with cryptocurrencies got shut down. I had multiple videos shut down by Facebook. I had multiple videos shut down by YouTube. Twitter was basically threatening me all the time to deplatform me. It was a very, very complicated time, but we moved on. Why? Because I believed in the cryptocurrency move. And the fact is I was delivering truth. I was delivering really quality fact checked information that could benefit many people. I felt that when it comes to freedom of speech, valid ideas need to be heard. But if we cannot get access to truth, we cannot make decisions. And that's exactly what we're dealing with right now during this coronavirus pandemic. And I want to put it at a personal level because this is impacting me personally in my censorship and over the fact that it has personally affected me. I'll tell you why. So recently I've been posting some information regarding a medical treatment that's been spoken about quite extensively. In fact, the president has spoken about this treatment. And regardless of ide your ideology or what you believe, whether you are a Republican or a Democrat or neither, the point is this, this medication actually works. And many doctors have a lot of evidence behind it. And yet there's a very, very aggressive campaign to block the effects of it. I'm talking about specifically, there was a very, very well-known um, medical summit. It generated millions of views in just one day. And yet Facebook shut it down. I was one of the people that shared this video and my video got shut down. I then was able to share a different edit of the video and that video got shut down. In fact, all of my videos and any content that I've been sharing specifically about this medical treatment gets shut down. So in fact, I want to talk to you specifically about one of the posts specifically, which is this one. This video was actually from these medical doctors that were actually having a specific summit talking about this effect and presenting their results on how they actually had been using this treatment to successfully treat um, patients. Now, they actually shut down my post um, and many of the posts that I actually posted about this specific summit got shut down as well. Now, the reason why this is so painful for me is that I live in South Florida where this coronavirus pandemic is considered the epicenter and I know many people who have been impacted by coronavirus, including my friend Jacob. This video is from Jacob 12 days after he had been positively tested and actually diagnosed with coronavirus, started getting sick and his doctor quickly implemented the protocol that these doctors were talking about. Jacob was actually dancing and celebrating the fact that he actually does not have coronavirus anymore. So you tell me. Is that considered a cure? The fact that he no longer tests for coronavirus and in fact, he's good enough to be able to dance? Freedom of speech is at risk right now. And the fact is these centralized platforms are basically blocking and squelching anything having to do with this specific treatment, which could save many lives. We go back to the concept of decentralization. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized network. There's no CEO of Bitcoin. I can do a transaction with Bitcoin with anybody in the world. There's nobody that could say, no, you shouldn't do that transaction or can turn around and cancel my payment. That does not happen in Bitcoin. Why? Because Bitcoin is decentralized. Furthermore, Bitcoin runs on a blockchain. You can see every single transaction that has ever happened on Bitcoin all the way back to the first transaction ever in the Genesis block. There's a single source of truth that anybody can see all around the world. Which brings me then to the concept of blockchain and having a single source of truth. But I got to tell you, right now we have an information war and the, the concept of what is truth is at risk. I want to know, what's your take? Have you been dealing with any censorship? Have you had any of your posts been blocked down by Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or any other platform? Have you heard about other people getting deplatformed or basically getting blocked or canceled? Let me hear your take. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I'm George Levy. Remember, we're changing the world one blockchain at a time.